thank you to everybody here because you're the people that are supporting John and myself. And I find it quite overwhelming sometimes when I come to places like this and I have the honour to speak to you all, so thank you for that. Um, I've been asked to speak about the good life. What does it mean to us and what gives us a sense of well-being? This disease is a two-way issue between the person with Alzheimer's and the carer, and both are critical to the quality of life. Alzheimer's disease is not a death sentence to sit and wait for. I didn't have this in my plan. I wasn't ready to retire. But sometimes the universe acts before you're ready. The retirement plan that I had included great quality time with my husband, family and friends to indulge my hobbies and satisfy my wanderlust for travel. And I see no reason why that should change other than to bring forward the timeline and modify things where necessary. I recognise that it is important to my quality of life that I still meet my own needs by pursuing my hobbies and running my business from home. I love teaching people how to detox their homes, their bodies and their wallets. <laughs> you can ask me how later. <laughs> of course, I don't do them all at the same time. I probably do too much, but there's a song that keeps going through my head, so please indulge me. What about me? It isn't fair. I don't want this disease. I just want my share. Can't you see? I want to live, but you just take more than you give. What about me? I went to Centrelink to report my income and I burst into tears because I couldn't remember the volume of information that I needed. The staff member was wonderful and gave me tissues and sympathy and showed me how to become John's official carer. And from then on we received a mountain of information. This system needs to be changed. Advice needs to be sequential to ensure everybody on this journey receives adequate information in a manner they can cope with. The jargon needs to be simplified and each person starting on the pathway needs one person as a caseworker to follow up and help us because we don't know what you're here for. I don't know what you will do. And we're the people that need you the most. The Alzheimer's Association have been wonderful, offering regular counselling and other support systems and training sessions, and I pour my heart out to them every month. Carers WA have regular monthly, meet, monthly lunches where I can make friends who are in the same situation as myself and offload when you need to. And you realise just how many people need carers at home not just with dementia issues. Carers WA have loads of low-cost activities and respite centres for carers. In fact, John and I are going in to respite together next week when I have my eye operation. So in addition to my role as carer, I'm still me. I'm a wife, a mother, a grandmother, sister, daughter, auntie, cousin, teacher, masseuse, a businesswoman, I'm about to register my new business called Safer Health. Look for it. <laughs> I'm a social marketer for Modair, which produce clean living products. I make soaps, pop puree, and so on. <laughs> I'm learning Reiki level two, hands-on healing, and John doesn't know what's going to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to practice on regularly, don't I, John? <laughs> We're adding to the good life by installing a raised vegetable garden and a chicken run for self-sufficiency. I'm planning and scheming our next holiday in a hired motorhome and I can't see now because of flash. <laughs> <laughs> My parents always had an adventure or an outing or some excitement to look ahead forward and forward to, and we do too. Does John have a good life, you may ask? Does John have a sense of well-being? Well, number one on the list for John would be lots of cuddles and kisses, and that's very easy to give. The tissues are in front of you, John. Massage, 
with their lovely body butter. You can choose your own fragrance. Watching TV documentaries on world affairs, history and geography in peace while I'm busy, because I only got 20% for those subjects. <laughs> he loves time spent with our growing family and friends. A little gardening in raised beds with a stool to sit on. Harvesting of tomatoes and other goodies. And now we have mandarins, olives, grapes, lemons growing. And soon we'll have some more vegetables, we hope. He enjoys the occasional scotch and coke and pear cider at the end of the day, or maybe 10 o'clock in the morning, depending on our mood. <laughs> <laughs> we have afternoon siestas, which I find really help with his memory afterwards. So he has an hour on the lounge. If I can get him off to bed, it'd be even better. Clubbing. He loves going clubbing to the day centres. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, he does. He absolutely loves it. How many people from day centres? Well done. That's all I can say. Thank God for you. <laughs> Gives me so much peace and quiet. He loves to go... Um, oh, I've lost my place, sorry. He loves going on the bus to the daycare where they can do exercises, balloon kicks while seated, stretching and going for a walk, morning tea, lunch, art and craft, cognitive puzzles, quizzes and games. And in December, we're all going by the bus to see the Christmas lights in the Manjuk canals. Last year, there were 65 attending and they hired the whole boat. I'm looking forward to that. Hope nobody falls over. <laughs> He's challenging himself learning triominoes. Now, this is a challenge, isn't it, John? Which he plays at the centre and at home, but he complains they always thrash him. So we have to play it more often. He enjoys reading about historical figures such as Alexander the Great and National Geographic magazines. He enjoys dan oh we enjoy dancing, don't we? We enjoy dancing together in the kitchen to Where the Hell is Matt on YouTube. Has anyone seen it? Have a look for it. Where the Hell is Matt on YouTube? We love laughing our heads off to silly nonsense and slapstick comedy and reminiscing. Going to the movies and the theatre. Our sister-in-law was in a musical on the weekend. John is planning a trip to Yorkshire when we have enough Qantas frequent flyer points. We only need 20,000 more. <laughs> John wants to go to Hopetown and tour through the National Forest then back home along the southwest coast as we always dreamed of travelling around Australia in a motorhome. So we booked the motorhome and we're going for two weeks in November down south, and we do much, much more. Eventually, we will slow down, I expect, but for now, we're too busy living the good life to think about it. So we decided, why live with mediocrity when we can be just spectacular? <laughs> Thank you.